Good morning. Welcome back to GNA Honeybees. It is Monday, the 2nd of July, 2024. And uh, we are still being inundated by Arctic outflow weather. It's only about 14 or 15 degrees Celsius right now. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And you can see a few bees flying there, but not too many. And I think I've figured out why those three colonies over at my other location are looking to swarm. And that's because it's been so cold at night that the bees are clustering in the two upper boxes. They haven't really been using the bottom box. There's basically they're just using that for a ladder. But I think they've been clustering up in here, giving them the sensation that they're overcrowded. Um, the one box over there, there's in the honey super, there's like six, seven bees up there. The other ones, they have a bigger population and there are some bees in the honey super, but the majority of the bees are crowded into the top two boxes. And all three of them are still making queen cells. So I think it's been the weather that's causing this queen cell situation. But anyway, this colony, Hive 1, oh, it was about a month ago now, I introduced a new virgin queen in a cage. They let her out. She got mated. And she was big. She was huge. And she was a nice looking queen. And I went through the entire box and I knocked off all the, the swarm cells that were in there. Or at least I thought I had. And a few days ago, I opened them up just to see how the queen was doing. And... I went through every frame in these three boxes and there was no queen in there that I could find and there was two frames in the top that had a little bit of brood and a whole bunch of supersedure cells and I thought oh man something's happened to her so I have a uh, resource nuke over at my other location. I went over and captured that queen, got her into a queen cage, put some fresh uh, queen candy in the in the plug, and I was going to bring her over here and put her in this box and let them have her. So, and I took off the top honey super, which is all brand new frames, freshly waxed, and I saw a little cluster of bees up in the corner on one of the frames. I thought, well, that's kind of odd. <clears throat> so I pulled the frame out, and there I found a brand new virgin queen. So I think what happened was I missed a queen cell in there. This virgin queen hatched, and the big queen um, swarmed. And if, if I get you spun around here a little bit, this nuke was a swarm capture I did from two houses over. It was a small, you know, just a small ball of bees and this big golden queen. And I thought, geez, she looks similar to the one that was in that other box. And now I'm pretty sure that when that new virgin queen hatched out in hive one here, that she did swarm and she took a small bunch of bees with her and she just landed two houses over in a bush. And now she's in here. <laughs> it's like, because there's not too many other beekeepers around here. And why bees would swarm any distance and land over here two houses away doesn't make any sense. But having a small swarm come out of my box and go over there does. And so I'm pretty sure that the queen that's in here was the big fat queen that was in here. So anyway, we're going to have a look-see, <clears throat> see if that queen has mated. I don't know if the weather's been good enough for her to go mate or not, but uh, let me get my gear on. We'll get them opened up a little bit, and we'll find out what's going on in here. I'll be back in a bit. So 
So here's that upper honey super. I do see some bees in there. They're kind of looking at the wax. I just want to double check. Yeah, they've got a little bit of wax started there. see any queen there. Don't see one there. Okay, so she's not there. So we're gonna get this other honey super down. Just give me a second. So this is packed full of nectar. The wild blackberries are in full flow right now. So uh, this one's really heavy. Oh yeah, I'm actually starting to cap that a little bit. Getting a little bit of capping on there. I'm just double checking to make sure that she hadn't come up through the queen excluder. Because she wasn't mated, she was able to fit through the queen excluder quite easily. And there's some cappings there. And there's a queen cup. Yeah, you see there's not too many bees up here. The number of bees in this colony, there should be, like this box should be full of bees and they should be producing a lot of honey but that's sort of packed end to end with nectar now I know a queen normally wouldn't be running around up here but I am just being cautious and just checking to make sure that's sort of packed end to end with nectar too. There's bees on the outer frame. Yeah, this one's pretty empty. Alright, let's get the queen excluder off of there and then we'll have a look. Get you up here a little higher.
bring it around here so I can work from the side. Now, I didn't knock off the supersedure cells from that frame, so just kind of left them there for just because. Well, she did get mated. Look right there. She did go get mated. And girls, where is she? There she is. She's not large, large, but she is there. And she's looking for cells to lay in. find these. Let's see if they've done anything with these supersedure cells. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see it too well. The, the sun won't stay out long enough to... So there's one there. It's empty. They've torn it down. And... There's one over here that they've started to chew down, even though there's a larva in there. So I'm just going to help them out a little bit. Pop that out of there. And there was a mite on that larva. Uh, here, I'll show you this couple here. You see those two right there? They were both populated, and they're empty now. Just pull them off. These will fix that wax. There's another one. It's empty. Even the ones on this side have been chewed down. Alrighty then. I'm going to go through every frame in the box to make sure there's no more queen cells. And then I'll bring you back. Because it'll take a while. All right, back in a bit. All right, well, that took a while. Anyway, I went through every frame in that box. I did find some more uh, queen cups that looked like they were being prepped for swarming. And I didn't find any more supersedure cells. Like I said, the only two frames that were up here in the third box, and they've obviously taken care of those. So, and I even found a couple of swarm cells or swarm cups in the bottom box. So I've got them all back together. I'm going to leave them for another seven days and then we'll check back and see what that new queen is doing. So, anyway, um, you might, <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> kind of glad I didn't uh, video that whole thing because that was about half an hour. And that's all you need to do is to sit around for half an hour watching me pull frames. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll catch you again on the next one. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. So I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.